Hello Augies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kassler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Jack Arnold, KD4UEE. He says, Greetings, Dave. My son, Christian, 13-year-old extra, congratulations, Christian, and myself, also an extra, go hiking and camping a lot with our Trail Life USA troop. We love to bring our dual band HTs, 2 meters, 70 centimeters. We often find a good wide area coverage 2 meter repeater to talk on while in the field, but sometimes have difficulty hitting one. We use simplex as much as possible when we are in close proximity. My question is this, besides the little whips that are on our HTs, what is another field ready antenna that would be nice to have on hand to try to reach further. I've considered a simple dipole that we could throw up in a tree or even a coat hanger vertical with radials that could be assembled relatively quickly. Trying to consider size, weight, and effectiveness, what are your thoughts and suggestions? Love your YouTube channel. My son and I are always learning from you. Sign Jack. Okay, let's uh, bring this thing out here so we can see the whole screen and take a look what he's got is an HT uh, the HT has a uh, antenna on it which is not um, a very good antenna at all so what we want is something we can connect here that will do better you can get longer antennas. It's a full 19 inches, which is a quarter wave on two meters. Still not the best match for down here. Uh, now you talked about a dipole, which would be easy enough to build. You just a uh, piece of coax out here, uh, 19 inches on this side, 19 inches on this side. I'll let Callum convert this to metric over here. Um, and this is for the center conductor, this one, and this one right here is for uh, the braid. Now note that there is a simple way to make this. If you take a piece of coax and strip off the outer um, layer of plastic, okay, which you can do very carefully with an X-Acto knife, okay, and then you can pull the center conductor out of that, and you've got 19 inches of center conductor, and then you've got braid left over, you can hang the braid down, now it will stretch some because it doesn't have anything in the center, pull that down, trim it at 19 inches, and voila, you have a dipole. Now for FM work, this should be a vertical, a vertical dipole, okay? Because FM work is done vertically, vertically polarized. Now you mentioned also another type of antenna, which could be just, um, and you can make this from coat hangers if you can find coat hangers that have metal on the bottom. Uh, put an SO239 here so it's threaded down here and then uh, at the, there will be uh, holes in the corners attached to each one of those a uh, 19 inch radial. Bend them down a little bit to get this uh, resistance which is normally 30 ohms get it up to 50 by bending them down a little bit the problem is that this is a little um, well it's awkward uh, to carry so I'm going to show you something that I built from a kit and I don't remember who made this kit uh, this was a long time ago but these are still available and you can make them yourself this is a portable J-pole. Okay, and it happens to be a portable J-1 
J-pole for two bands, two meters and 70 centimeters. Now I have covered up all the stuff in here that went with making it two meters and there's some more right here. But if we look at it from the overhead, there is a cable. Okay, now note that this is a PL259, so you're going to have to get the adapter to your radio. Okay, and then this comes up to the bottom right here where it attaches and it attaches, it's kind of hard to see up under there, but the the actual cross connect is about here and then it comes up about here to actually feed it. And then this part right here is the part that makes the two bands and then there is a string on the end and you can attach this over any tree limb until you've got this entire thing vertical the coax doesn't need to be vertical being attached to your handheld but this right here gives you an instant genuine J-pole sometimes called a slim gym because of the sizes and it is designed for two bands okay this is small and light and can be carried in a backpack and then if you need to get hold of a repeater that you can't otherwise just hang this from a handy tree limb or hold it up have somebody hold it up out away from them uh, and you have an actual reel if you will antenna for two meters uh, this cost me I think 60 bucks something like that you can look on DX engineering for kit J poles uh, or portable J poles uh, or Slim Jim something like that and get one of these and take them with you and you have a real antenna a real J pole even though it's flexible and small and can really help you with that so that is what I would suggest that you do is get one of these carry it along in your rucksack it's not very much weight um, and make sure you have the connector the adapter for this. Um, these days most HTs use SMC connectors and you can get SMC directly to PL259 or you can get a connector that screws in to and, and Baofeng uses uh, male uh, connectors on their HTs a lot of other people use female so you gotta make sure you get it right um, and they'll have a piece of coax and then that will attach to to this and then that way you don't have the problem of stress on the connector itself okay so I hope that helps there you have it um, if you have watched this far I would encourage you to uh, subscribe if you also would like please check like and share this video with other people and if you'd like to support this channel financially, you may certainly do so by going to dcastler.com support and pick away there. Until we next meet, 73.